here i am back again your host rahul and this time i am with my chai i believe i didn't keep you waiting for long no more further delay let's get started given for your answer now uh, to my uh, to our master collector my question is uh, to sachin um, does current incidents because this in- incidents we are not prepared with this is a incident yeah. something world is facing uh, all of a sudden uh, we are habituating we are trying to adopt this pandemic era we are saying it is a pandemic era and does this current incident uh, impact your thoughts and reflects on your collection of artwork what do you think uh, if you have heard there is something called as theory of chaos 80 20 rule i have experienced this in my career when i began uh, to promote art it was lehman brother that caused pandemic kind of situation in financial market uh, you know i was fortunate enough and that was a time when i had read this book 80 20 principle i found out because before this i was into financial services i was having my own company and we were selling mutual funds equity and financial products so i was in touch with few collectors rather i was not a collector then i had just begun my journey as a collector but i found some of them having good money on hand in spite of bad situation so you know as as we all know 80% of wealth is uh, with 20% of few so uh, that was a time when i actually seized that period as opportunity i could i was fortunate enough to find some uh, collectors who were having money they started buying at lucrative rates because the moment you say when market falls there are artists there are collectors having need of money they would like to sell their collection at lower price so that was an opportunity for me so i found collectors or artists they wanted to sell at lower price number one number two i also found some buyers who wanted to buy at that price so i was the matchmaker between two and and in between i started collecting my own also so that was the period in it is again i feel that history has repeated itself because when you look at this pandemic situation again the time has come for right collectors to collect at a right price you know uh, i always tell i have started going to markets and telling my collectors and this is right time for you to buy why don't you buy and buy at a lucrative price so you know you can build your portfolio because we have done our studies uh, if you have seen since world war 1 all the indices so when world war 1 began all the indices fell whatever indices well art also big art also fell as an asset class but it bounced back faster so it has been proven that art as an asset class has rebounded far faster it has lesser uh, volatility like other markets yeah but it has it does not have liquidity much liquidity but it has its own merits so any collector who would like to enter at this time this is a good time to enter with a view of at least over a 10 years period you can mint money because you know when you look at this thing when people buy art enjoy it like kiran she is starting or rather dr Ravi, dr vyas i have seen his works you know he, it is so detailed and the way he works though he has painted only 20 of them but each one is like masterpiece so when you invest your money in works like this young artist or who are upcoming and give them 10 years 15 years time and the way you know they grow it is going to give you huge money that's what i believe and that is how we have been promoting apart from public art because see government always has money so for us promoting public art through government's help has never been a problem we have been doing it like working for gwalior working for dehradun artwork i have worked for vadodara we have created artworks at vadodara's railway station at airport many other circles so that is something that you know we have never faced any troubles but pandemic has added an opportunity for lot of collectors to start collecting yes i suppose dr vyas would agree to this yes recently last week we were together yes so he came to baroda and uh, we actually were together on a project ravi verma is good yeah very nice i i found two words very very encouraging and very uh, inspirational that is a matchmaker and uh, and you are you are trying to connect Uh, uh this time with the buyers because uh, this is the time where a uh, buyer should come into the picture uh, this is not a pro- point of artist 
who would enjoy the price too much more in this moment uh, they need to release their artwork in this moment and for the collector uh, that is the i can say this is kind of time where they can invest uh, thank you very much sachin for your for your insight of this entire uh, thing so we are going uh, to our third segment it is a little bit of fun and uh, we need to uh, spread this fun amongst us uh, we have a special segment called a uh, rapid fire round where we will play with the words you have to answer what comes in your mind first when you hear the following words okay okay so i believe you are all prepared with i am going to uh, ask dr vyas illustration what strikes in your mind illustration uh it's like a basic uh expression from your brain you know illustration means uh first thing that your brain commands it can first be your thing, emotion yes. yeah it can be your emotions it can be what you think uh what is a, a brainstorming session in your mind which you want to bring it out okay so i would request you to be in one sentence i okay. understand it's very difficult i'll try difficult. so just my my <laughs> yes, first attempt uh, yes. for a rapid fire absolutely fine so next is that college a uh, different world inspiration um spontaneous doodle no idea idea good emotions uh flowing like river yes so doodle is just a line drawing uh, and you can try with any components anything any scalability on any uh, medium uh, is the kind of playing with your lines and that's usually on the telephone <laughs> okay nice nice it's like talking to someone and you are yeah, yeah. your hand is <laughs> true 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 so fun it's it's now to kiran i'm going to ask you few few lines and you need to connect in with the word paint contemporary childhood bliss yes. role model my brother uh can you please take his name if you don't mind rakhar rakhar okay thank you canvas an experimental lab right life beautiful yes really i appreciate your last one is really beautiful <laughs> yes uh, to our master collectors now your turn humanity humanity is us raja ravi varma my guru inspiration raja ravi varma black is white love all around so nice so nice i like the answer of the Thank black you. this is a white yes <laughs> truly i like this word yes uh, so it's really funful that and really unexpected uh, uh, answer that that is uh, makes us uh, so uncomfortable and so funful okay so now i want to uh, share a small uh, brief of uh, uh, artist from america uh, jackson pollock uh, some have already known some doesn't know no matter uh, he was a uh, basically a abstract expressionist and he basically did a uh, scale like uh, 55 feet by 44 feet or 22 feet by 44 feet is a big canvas uh and one day jason asked his uh, wife uh after completing a painting called autumn rhythm in 1915 and jason asked his wife uh, could you please come and tell me uh, how the painting is his wife came and said one line is that a painting and this is the way that artist sometimes can't even connect with their very close one artist basically connects with their soul when they break it and that's the reason why every artist tried to create his or her own style with a lot of 
understanding, lot of experience, and through lot of practices. So now our next round is brief your art. So I would request uh, Dr. Vyas, could you please show you some of your work at minimum two and the thought and the working process behind that creation, Dr. Vyas. Um, yeah, uh, you, you can see two paintings right behind me. I had also shared my, because there are a lot of details. So it's, uh, this, it's far distance, which you cannot see. Uh, as you introduced me, so I, I had a very colorful background and I was brought up in a different world. Why I am uh, explaining you? Because th this connection goes with my paintings, you know. Uh, I, I recently I heard someone saying that Ravi Verma could uh, uh, create such a marvelous paintings because he lived that life, you know. And the same, uh, I, 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 I could, I could, you know, uh, find my answer that why I am creating such beautiful things because I live this kind of life. I have uh, so so the painting of Lakshmi, if you see. She is wearing my grandmother's outfit, you know. Uh, this side is Ravana and Mandodari in conversation. That is uh, the truth temple of Sri Lanka, which I went to Sri Lanka and that in inspiration came during my trans tra uh, during my travel. I, I love uh, exploring uh, the uh, cultures of the world. So that is the Sri Lankan culture, which I have emphasized. I love drama, so I have created drama. I used to uh, make my wife and daughter to, to stand and we used to create a scene and photograph. So all these paintings has gone through a very, um, you know, it's a kind of a choreography on, on, the, on, the, on the screen. You exactly. know? It's like that. And Ravi Yorma used to, uh, so I, I don't pursue him 100%, but I use his principles. You know, exactly. he used to place some object that used to create an ambience of art. And this is what I have done. I have created an ambience of Sri Lanka on my canvas. Even the frame has frame has the same carving Sri Lanka, but it is done here in Gondal. So, so these paintings are one, one story. It's like reading a storybook. So all the descriptions are there. Uh, why I created, so these are the travel, uh, the artifacts from, from my personal house or from museums. I have been staying with royal families, so I have gone and stayed at the palaces. So other, art, other paintings also are there with the locations with the palace. This is Baroda Palace, just right behind me uh, with Saraswati, uh, sorry, Lakshmiji, and the Singhasana from Nepal. So uh, the the Sheshna. Uh, so that is from again from my uh, from my Nepalese uh, travel. So what I do is I I gather uh, information for a right subject, and I place that thing to create one piece of art. So okay. it's a kind of lot of uh, brainstorming sessions. Some I use films. Some I study the films, how the director has choreographed the lightings and, and I implement in my paintings. Wow. So Fantastic. it's a complete package of Fantastic. art. Fantastic. I feel like uh, there is a lot of classical sensibility uh, in your artwork and yes. the energy, the psyche, the value, the principles that you are holding that has been depicted on your artwork. And uh, truly, we are truly happy to see you and to see your artwork. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Vyas, to show your artwork. Uh, yes, I would you. request uh, uh, Kiran to show a few of your artwork, please. Thank you, Rahul. Uh, let me start with this one. I think you should be able to see these two. Can you see these two? I have a third version of it as well. Yes, but yes. I love, so my artwork basically begins with black and white, completely mm -hmm. a black and white picture. And I create pieces like this of different palettes. Mm -hmm. So to be honest, I get dreams about colors, visions about colors. And that's when I start doing it. Mm -hmm. Let me pick up this one, because I want to show you the bit of detail. Mm -hmm. So if you see this part, particularly, right? Mm -hmm. 
yes yes create yes. sun rays it's more about depth right how far it has gone and that's the feeling of nostalgia i get from my feeling that i have been raised in a forest which are like really deep depths right mm-hmm. so i create that ambience with different colors mm-hmm. doesn't matter which palette i pick up but i create the same ambience with different colors mm-hmm. and then bring into the details which are in foreground mm-hmm. so that people feel no this is this is not even a painting it's possibly a photograph taken in a filtered palette mm-hmm. so that is that is one then uh, my typical sizes of canvases are also very uh, like two uh, two and a half feet to two feet this this painting in the background i don't know i can bring it to the front or not uh, this one it's called perspective of rays can you tell me the size of this paint this one this is, the background this is four feet by three feet I understand mm-hmm. it took about three months and uh, imagine i had to uh, create the black and white texture to this particular painting now if you've seen this painting this has doesn't have a white base to show that there is sunlight there is reflected light on it right here i experimented that there's going to be a white lawn on which you show different kind of sun rays mm-hmm. and to show the perspective if you see it very close you have a circular set of rays it's not a parallel tangent rays right mm-hmm. it's very circular and that's what gives a feeling of perspective like there is a lot of depth in the depth background is, yeah and when you stand next to it in fact you feel that the foreground has come very forward like you can literally step into the painting kiran i can many i am really happy that to see your eyes that your <laughs> eyes is smiling and that is the great thing about an artist uh, when when because that is the creation that is their kids that is their their from their soul and mm-hmm. i can feel the much of passion the joy in your eyes and i i feel like that you have utilizes the palette very nicely the mixing up of the cool and the warm color very nicely and side by side and creating the depth of the painting really appreciable i i really like your painting and uh, wish you all the very best to your work and uh, the rays i believe that i can remember you with your rays <laughs> that uh, sun rays and really uh, nice so Thank nice you. of you kiran Thank so you. Uh, now i am moving to our uh, master collector uh, could you please show some of your artwork that you have collected i know that this is such a question to you as a collector is not to ask but i could not resist myself to see at least few artworks that you have with you okay so uh, rahul i would like to show so i am an art collector but i am also a curator yeah. but i want to give you a different kind of experience to you okay. to the audience go ahead uh, you must have heard this company name is zydus cadilla see they they have a division called zydus biovation where they have a patented product which is called exemtia and it is useful for uh, the patient suffering from autoimmune disease like uh, arthritis or spondylitis something like that so uh, since last 6 years i have been curating calendar for them now it is not just a calendar but what we do we take out stories of patients who got recovered and their stories we depict in visual form so this endeavor has helped many artists like zydus cadilla is kind enough to buy artworks at very good pricing from artists my role as a curator is to find out stories and to give a, a, a to discuss with artists about the story and the form and we actually create it so this year i'll show you some interesting calendar of this year what did we do like this exemtia patients who were bedridden patients who got recovered but then they were the patients who were taking exemtia treatment what happened during lockdown we found out 12 interesting stories where uh, they said you know some of them they were happy with their doctor some of them they were happy with their uh, family members some of them were actually you know uh, they, they were visionary to sense that something is coming and what happened with them how did they deal with this pandemic period lockdown period particularly not pandemic period their family their personal life and all this stuff that we discussed and we actually showcase these in various art forms like madhubani uh, in uh, pattachitra style and basically the idea was to showcase in indian traditional style and you know me and shankar we got together in bni i am a bni member and i found an artist from bni pune and she did this job of creating artworks let me show you the calendar and i'll show you one story 
and you will know what is it all about. So, can you see this? A couple. Yes. Yes. This is a Madhubani painting uh -huh. where a couple having chai together. <laughs> yes. So now I'll tell you the story. The lady who is sitting uh, with this cup and husband, her name is Vimalesh, and her husband, uh, his name is Raj Singh. Now uh, they are from small village of Haryana. They got married at the age of she was about 19 years and he was about 20 years of age because in Haryana you get married very early. She got married. She had spondylitis. So after marriage, she was like almost bedridden. Raj, he actually his family members told him that you know your wife is defective piece. We would suggest you could dump her though, and why don't you remarry? He said no. I love my wife. And he took her out of the village. He took her to Haryana. He took up a job with Maruti. And for four years, Raj cooked food for his wife, Vimlesh. He took care of her. And while Exemshia came into their life, she started cooking. She started, you know, taking care of husband. And when I asked this Raj, Ki, how about this thing now? What do you think? He said, you know, sir, life mein pyar wapas aa gaya hai. So this love story of husband and wife we have depicted in form of an interesting painting. So Thank I you, believe sister. most welcome. So these yeah. are something like this. There are twelve different stories. Yes, we have taken stories of doctors as well. That how doctors uh, dealt with lockdown period. Very nice, very nice that you have started connecting uh, with the with the uh, we can say with the lovers or the audience. Through the yeah. art so I'll tell you. So I'll tell you how the, the benefit is. When doctor has such stories on his desk, it becomes easy for him to explain or make the patients understand. You know, because these patients they are like brand ambassadors. True. He does not have to convince. You know, he would like just yeah. They story Vimlesh ki hai. This is what Vimlesh has gone through. You don't have to go through. You know, you will be cured. Something like that. So it becomes easy for them to even communicate. So as I say, you know, art is the most powerful tool of visual communication and we use it with our artwork. Great, great. So uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, introspection, wonderful uh, reactions, sharing thoughts with us. And uh, uh, to, uh, we are just concluding our show for today. Uh, to my viewers and our audience. Uh, if you have any query or suggestion, do comment below and our artist will revert to you. As we have come to the conclusion of our show, I would like to thank all the artists for taking us through the beautiful collection of their artworks. Next, I would like to thank our audience today. I hope you all enjoyed it. See you next Saturday on the same channel with new panelists. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Sign off. This is Rahul from Jumbish Creations. Take care. Bye-bye.